Hey guys, and welcome back to another Success Online video. Uh, today we'll be hearing from a Ruby leader who is all about knowing everything and anything when it comes to product. Um, and she really knows how to maximize on incentives when building uh, her business. So she's a little fiery, uh, a bit spicy, and a whole lot of fun. So please join me in welcoming Adriana Mansfield, everybody. <laughs> Hi. Hello, how are you? Good, good. Always, I can see a little bit of nerves there. We're going to shake A little. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, honestly, Adriana, like I, I've said this a million times before, but I'm so glad you said yes to doing one of these videos. I think you, you're you such a great leader and you've got so much to kind of share. Um, and I think a lot of people can learn from that as well. So thank you. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Well, let's jump into it. Let's... um. Give us a little bit of background information about yourself. You know, what were you doing prior to New Skin, perhaps? And, you know, what led you to start building a business for that? So I've come from a bit of a mixed background. Um, originally, I very first started working um, in hairdressing and beauty. Um, and yeah. I always wanted to sort of follow along that path. Ideally, I really wanted to own my own salon, but life things come in the way and things mm -hmm. change. So, um that that didn't happen um I then sort of went into doing a few other very very different roles um I worked in childcare for a little while um worked in fast food of all things oh, yes. um, <laughs> um and then I also done a few management roles with my partner at the time um who's now my husband beautiful um but we Ran a bowling alley. We ran a roadhouse. Um, so, yeah, very, very big jobs. Um, but it just was a lot of hours and stuff. And as I said, I, I'd always wanted to run my own business. Um, mm -hmm. And after a couple of pretty pretty hell management roles, I sort of said to Hubby, you know, look, maybe it's about time we step outside of our comfort zone and do something for ourselves and start our own business. So, yeah, so we... We started a, um, a resurfacing company where we're basically going in and, um, you know, fixing up people's kitchens and bathrooms, giving them a bit of a revamp, um, which was more of a thing for my hubby. He's very hands-on, very, you know, anything he does he's good at. Um, but it wasn't really my thing. Originally, I was supposed to be in the office. I wasn't supposed to be out on the job, but that didn't turn out. So um, I very quickly grew to hate the job pretty much mm -hmm. um I had had a little bit of a delve into multi-level marketing when we we're actually running a bowling alley um but just wasn't the right company wasn't the right people wasn't the right time for me but I could see that you know there was a fantastic opportunity there um and I, I sort of wanted to you know look more into that at some point um so while we were running the resurfacing business um hubby actually ran into some health issues and we weren't able to run the business for, for quite some time we were out um as I said he was more the manual labor side of things I was just you know there to help out so without him we really sort of couldn't run the business um and we'd been pretty much for a good sort of 12 months two years in and out of the business you know back and forth and it just it wasn't a good thing the business, you know, really steadily declined and, yeah, it got to the point where it was just like, look, we, we've got to shut the doors. It was just costing us more to run it than, than mm -hmm. anything. So, um, you know, I'd spent a lot of time at night scrolling through Facebook, looking at other opportunities, you know, all multi-level marketing stuff, just researching different companies and stuff. They sort of went, um, you know, it's, it's, it's beauty, it's got hair products and stuff, and that really sort of gelled with me. I thought maybe yeah. this is my way back into that mm -hmm. industry that I wanted to be in and obviously going to give me that opportunity to be able to work from home, you know, work around my own hours, be here when Huppy needed me and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, no, yeah. No, I like that. No, thanks for sharing that. That's, you know, I think a lot of people can kind of almost relate to that in a way and if you're yeah. about finding the right business for you to kind of jump back into it. And, yeah. you know, that kind of brings me to the point, like you, you're on the phone with me all the time and you look out for your team so much. Um, and you really, you're just with them every step of the way, which I've always really admired about you. And I guess, you know, what have you utilised or done in helping your team to ensure that they're equipped with the right tools and the knowledge 
um, for them to start to reach out to new customers. So to me, I think the most important thing with any multi-level marketing business is that you have to have a really strong customer base. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, you've got to keep your customers happy. And it's important to me, I think, to build that good, solid customer foundation um, simply because, you know, having a team is really great, Mm -hmm. but, you know, if suddenly things change and they're not there, you've at least got your solid customer base to you know, fall back on and, and keep things moving. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I work with my girls to just, to, you know, really sort of help them set up a really good solid customer base. And that's the thing that I focused on first myself. Um, I didn't look at the team building side of things for quite a while. Mm. Um, and I encourage people to do the same. I mean, you know, I can't make those decisions for them but you know look I just say that if you are going to team build at the same time still make sure that you are focusing on having that really solid customer base um so you know we we work on just different things how they can build you know a good customer relationship stay in contact with their customers get to know them figure out you know what's best for them um and you know a part of the way of doing that is product knowledge. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, people want to know what they're buying. Um, you know, people are so much more these days buying online, but they are looking for that connection still. Yeah. They're not, you know, people are moving away from just buying on eBay and stuff like that where there's no connection to the sellers. Mm-hmm. So I really get my team to focus on that and building that relationship with their customers so that, Yes, they are buying online, but they do have that relationship with you. Beautiful. Um, and they know that, you know, we know what the products do. We can tell them, you know, what benefits they're going to get. Um, you know, they can offer them complimentary products and stuff like that. So that's going to help give the customer that bit of confidence that whoever they're dealing with knows what they're doing and, you know, they're in their business 100% to, um, yeah. to build that good, solid customer base. Mm. Oh, good. Was there anything else you wanted to add to that or that's pretty much it for that one? Um, so, look, the, I mean, the other thing with, you know, having good product knowledge as well, I encourage my team to make sure that, you know, you can read, you know, your product information pages and all that sort of stuff yep. and get that knowledge of the mm-hmm. products. I definitely get my girls and my team to fully focus on making sure that they are trying different products. Yep. We've got so many available to us. Um for people that, you know, come into the business and they can't really afford to buy in, um, I try to work with them to, you know, to get bulk orders and stuff happening so that we can get them running through the ADR program, which mm-hmm. I absolutely love. It's something that everyone should utilise. Um, you know, if you can get free products in your hand, that's going to give you the best start. And I noticed myself that as soon as I was using the products and could actually give my opinion, it really helped so much. So I really encourage people to make sure that they are using the products themselves because that's where you're going to be able to give the best advice. Yeah, no, I, I completely agree with you that, like, and I think you said this to me before, you know, you, you should build your business on, like, understanding and knowing the product and that's the best way to sell because if you're yeah. confident and you know everything about it, you can sell it like anything, isn't it? Like selling ice cream at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love yeah. that. Oh, no, thanks um, for that. Mm. Yeah. And the other thing that I do with the team as well is, you know, especially with them using their products, is making sure that, you know, one, they're taking before and after photos. But Mm -hmm. in building that customer relationship as well, you tend to find that people are more willing to, you know, share their own results. So as a team, we sort of, you know, try to share as many results as we can Mm -hmm. simply because at least then when, you know, like if I'm advertising and I'm using results, and people say to me, oh, look, you know, how long has that person used it for or, you know, what are they doing? At least I can say with confidence, you know, I've got a connection with that person. I know who they are. This is how long they've been using it. This is the results that they've got. So we try to do that as a team. We try to make sure that, you know, we've got lots of good photos that we all know where they're coming from. Yeah. Which no, really that's helps that's as well. That's great. No, yeah, and it helps to tell because you can definitely see the before and after and you're like, well, this is what it was. And this is what it is now. That's it. <laughs> no, I love it. Um, let's kind of go into 
we introduced something quite new to the company this year, and it's called the Core Product Block Builder Incentive. So let me know, like, what was running through your mind when you first heard about this incentive? Um, so, look, I love the idea behind the, the Core Product Builder Incentive um, and also the other new one that we're doing, the Social Seller Spotlight. Mm. And when I looked at the Core Product, um, to me, I sort of thought that was a little bit more aimed at leaders. Um, because, you know, they've got a bit more experience with the products and stuff and they've got that bit more of a customer base. So, um, you know, they're going to be the ones that are going to be able to sell those numbers. Um, But the social seller I also think is a great thing for newer people coming into the team as well. Um, So both of those are really great opportunities for leaders and for, you know, newer team members to be able to push really good solid volumes uh, through their business. Um, they give people a great opportunity to focus on particular products. Um, you know, look, I, I don't sort of get them and go, okay, this is all I'm going to advertise for the month. You know, obviously I do other things. But if you can be focusing and organise your, you know, plan your advertising around for the month and have those core products just, you know, again and again and again and again, yeah. You know, it's proven that if you do that and people are constantly seeing it, the product is at the forefront of their mind and then they're eventually going to buy. Mm -hmm. So I found those, I thought, you know, these are just amazing opportunities to be able to get that volume through and it's also going to help girls to really sort of, you know, schedule their month, know what they're doing, what things they're advertising. Um, So, yeah, and I... um, Particularly with the Boost one, as I said, you know, I, I sort of thought that the core product builder was more aimed at the leaders. Um, mm-hmm. So I personally used the Boost to create a lot of hype around the release mm-hmm. of that. Um, obviously, when I, when I first seen the Boost, I was, I was kind of like, wow. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> think, I love the Lumi Spa and I didn't think that could be outdone. I was, mm. but. I sort of went, look, you know, I, I've got to get the two devices. I've got to make sure that I have this because obviously, you know, if I want to build the business, I've got to do it. So I got the boost as soon as I could in the um, in the pre-launch um, and I started using it and I was getting a lot of interest. So as soon as I seen this incentive, I thought, look, I've got so much interest already. Let's do this. Um, so, yeah. The thing that I loved about the incentive was the fact that, you know, we had those two free Lumi spas to be able to do something with. And I sort of sat there and I went, look, I've already got a Lumi spa. I've actually got two. <laughs> so <laughs> what, do I, what do I need more for? Um, but I know that I've got loads and loads of customers that absolutely love the Lumi spa. Mm-hmm. And to me, the Lumi spa and the, and the Boost are just a match made in heaven. Yeah. So... I really sort of targeted it at the people that have got a Lumi Spa already. You know, you, you've got to get this. Um, and then obviously there's always been some people that, you know, are interested in the Lumi Spa, but it's just not quite something that, you know, they can actually afford to get at the time. Mm-hmm. So I thought, well, if I can get those people into the boost and that's going to give them a chance to get hold of the Lumi Spa because I decided that I was going to use those two Lumi Spas to give away to, you know, to run a giveaway in my group, give them to my customers. Yeah. So I basically put it out there just like it come to us in the email, you know, sell 10 boosts, get two free Lumi spas. And I just put it to my customers and I said, look, you know, this is what we're going to do. If you can help me get to my target of the 10 boosts, mm-hmm. I'm going to give the two Lumi spas away. Yeah. And that really helped me to do it. Um, you know, it was still, you know, the advertising helped, but I still had to, you know, contact mm-hmm. people and you know, let them know what was, yeah, but it worked. It was good. <laughs> I, I know. I love that. Because you actually talked to me through this and what you were going to do with the Lumi Spas because I myself, when I first heard about it, I was like, I really hope one of the leaders does something like this. And you literally read my mind. Um, and that's why I was so excited. And I really wanted you to kind of share that with everybody because I think it's so great because it just goes back to what you were saying with you know you really looking out for your customer base as well yeah I just yeah I love that but you know and a great result with that as well like well done like I'm, I'm so happy and I know you'll thank you time for next <laughs> month as well you're really going to skyrocket with those age lock boost kit sales um yes. <laughs> but, going, yeah, but going back to the age lock boost kit you know what 
has kind of been the feedback from your customers so far and how have you personally found it yourself? Um, look, when I, as I said, when I first seen that we were getting the boost, I sort of thought, you know, how, how are they going to outdo the Lumi Spa? It's just not mm-hmm. going to happen. Um, but, and, and look, I was a little bit concerned about the fact that the, lo- that the boost is supposed to be aimed at that younger demographic. And that really worried me because my customer mm-hmm. base is actually quite a lot of older customers. Yep. So I was like, oh, look, you know, how am I going to do this? But I thought, look, you know, I'm just going to advertise it and aim it at those people. And I sort of really sort of thought that it was a good opportunity to get a few younger customers into my, into my customer base. Mm-hmm. So, um, look, you know, as I said, I got the Lumi, I got the Boost myself, started using it. What I actually did is I actually just used it on one side of my face for seven days because I thought that's really going to show, you know, a definite difference. Yeah. Um, I made sure that every single day in the lead up that I was using the Boost and doing a live every single day showing people and I was really quite surprised. It was only a couple of days that people started going, oh, my God, like we can fully see a difference. Yeah. Um, and then, this, you know, the inquiries started to come in and I really did notice then that a lot of my older customers, I was like, oh, I don't know if it's going to work for them. I don't know if you're going <laughs> to see the results that we're saying. Yeah. But, look, personally myself, um, my skin is quite dry and the very first thing that I noticed was that my skin was just so much more hydrated Mm. Um, within a few days after that, I started noticing that it was really starting to get that bit of plump and that bit of bounce to it, the the life that it didn't have. Um, So as I said, within a few days, my customers had actually started saying that they noticed some differences. And then I actually started going outside and people were starting to notice differences. So I was like, wow. Um, As soon as my customers started to get the first lot of boost in their hands, Mm -hmm. as I said, I was really quite worried because they were older customers and I thought, are we going to get the results that we want? They are just blown away. They mm-hmm. are absolutely loving it. I'm getting so much great feedback. And the funny thing is with the Lumi Spa, if it was a customer that didn't have a Lumi Spa, they're mm-hmm. now wanting one. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, you know, it's, it's mm-hmm. really helped business that way as well. Um, and just obviously, you know, from seeing my personal customers' results and their opinions and starting to get their feedback, I'm getting a lot of people that are now not only just wanting the boost but wanting the Lumi Spa as well. So it's really helped even push the, I mean, the Lumi Spa was always a big seller for me Mm -hmm. anyway, but it has really started to push that through a little bit more. So that's great. Yeah, I love that. I'm loving it. (laughs) Yeah, I love that you've touched on the fact that, you know, your customer base were a little bit older because the age of boost is kind of targeted to like your millennial customer and things like that. Yeah. It just goes to show, like, everybody can use it. That's you know, it. There's better than everyone. That's it. And that's what I was blown away at. I mean, you know, look, I didn't want to turn down a, a sale by going, you know, look, you're too old yeah. to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, not for you. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just, like, really hoping. I'm like, please see some results. But yeah. I'm, I'm blown away. Like, ladies are seeing some really incredible results. And, oh, and that's, that's really good. And it's so exciting, you know, like this is, I feel like, quite a big launch for us in terms of devices and yeah. like the fact that you can link sell it with the Lumi Spa as well. It's, it's just a real winner. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, well, thank you so much for sharing that. Like, I, you know, let's, let's kind of wrap things up now and, like, just maybe if you could give us a piece of advice. So yeah. knowing what you know now and, you know, everything that you've achieved so far, what piece of advice would you give to yourself? when you first started new skin? Juicy details. Look, I think the most important thing is that you need to be consistent and you need to show up. Um, mm-hmm. This is a great opportunity to, you know, to work from home and have that flexibility, but people still need to treat it like a job. Yep. You know, you've got to show up. If you're not here and you're not running your business, then, you know, if you're only going to put in, you know, a couple of days a week, you, you're really not going to get all that much out of it. Um, yeah. This is a great opportunity. You've just got to be consistent and show up, you know. Oh, yeah, I love that. And I think people need to remember, like, you really, 
you really need to put in the hard work to see your results. And like I know just from speaking to you, you worked so hard and you should be so, so proud. Like honestly. I am. I I am. <laughs> and you can tell, look at you, you're glowing. And I love that. It just goes to show like you and you can't stop smiling. It's that uncomfortable <laughs> smile and you just know you've done so well. And, you know, thank you again so much for joining me on this video today. Problem. It's been a pleasure.